Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add a new project. This will be just a real quick video. So um, here's corporate interior. So what I want to do is find the corporate interior gallery, which is there. I'm going to click that, and the images will load on the left side. So you kind of need to wait for those to load. So you can scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the directory, my, my local folder, and I've, I have a compressed version that I just kind of save a lot of file space. But what I can do now is uh, um, I can go ahead and drag and drop. Oh, and I didn't use the compressed version. Anyway, um, so those will load in. And once those are done loading, what I do is um, I click the gear, what we want, oh, let's, let's first change the focal point. So this is, the, this is where um, the square thumbnail will be cropped to. So change the focal point where you want that, like the best part of the photo will be seen when you move the white circle. Then you click the gear on each image, click categories, and I want to create a category called extreme makeover. And just hit enter, and then shouldn't take this long. There we go. There it comes, and then save. So what we've done now is we've created the category, and now we just need to go to each of the images that share that category and just assign it. All right, and there's no real save on the gallery. So what we can do now is just navigate to the page where we're going to put the images. So let's go to corporate interior. And let's see, we'll go alphabetical. So I guess it would go after cotton in this case. Well, let's go ahead and edit. And then we scroll down and we want to insert a summary block, a carousel summary block. And then we want to select our source, which is uh, our corporate gallery. You can see it there in the list. And then click display, um, because what happens in immediately is all, all images will get pulled in from that um, from that gallery, but it's, it's dynamic. So um, there's also a date posted. So let's go ahead and select none on that. And then on our category filter, if we just type EX, then there's our extreme makeover, select it, and there we go. Now we've filtered um, those results, and now we're just showing that in there. So let's go ahead and increase the number of items. So if you ever add more, more images in that collection, and then in layout, we will want to give it the name extreme makeover. And you can see that the title has changed over there. And then our aspect ratio on the images, we set that to one to one square. And to match the, the uh, to be consistent on the page, we have four across. So let's go ahead and bump that up to four. And then we'll just say apply. And we want to save the page. And if we preview it and scroll down, then we can actually click and we can see like the light box view and we can scroll through those images.